Now let's talk about the sweep feature. The sweep feature allows you to sweep a profile along a path. This means there are two important pieces to any sweep, a profile and a path. Let's get started. One of the first tips that we have for the sweep feature is in most situations, you'll need to create the path sketch first. The one exception to this would be if you are using existing edges of a model to define your path. But in our example, we are creating this U-bolt and we are going to start with the path for a sweep. I'll start a sketch on the top plane and create the U-shaped sketch needed for my path. Add my dimensions to fully define the sketch and then hit the green check to accept. So now we've created a path and it's time to create the profile that we want to sweep along that path. While a profile can be located anywhere along the path, a best practice when creating your profile sketch is to choose a sketch plane that is normal to the end of your path. In our example, the path sketch ends right at the front plane so I don't need to create a construction plane. But in many situations, creating a curve point construction plane normal to the end of your path is a good practice to align your profile. We will cover creating construction planes in more detail in the future. So now that we've started our sketch, we can sketch our profile. In our U-Bolt example, we are sweeping a simple circle along our path. So I'll sketch a circle and dimension. Now the next step is important. Your profile sketch, in our case this circle, must be constrained to the path sketch we created earlier using either a coincident or peers constraint. Here I'll create a coincident constraint between the center of my circle and the endpoint of the path sketch. So we've completed both the path and profile sketch and we are ready to sweep. I'll click the green check to accept the sketch and click the sweep feature from the toolbar. The sweep dialog will then appear with options for faces or sketch regions to sweep and the sweep path. In this example, the sketch region we want to sweep is the circle sketch and the sweep path is the U-shaped sketch. A tip when selecting your path, you can left click the individual pieces of your path to select them one piece at a time or select the entire sketch at once by clicking on it in the feature list. If the profile sketch is located along the path, rather than at the end of the path, the sweep feature still sweeps the profile along the entire selected path. 